Good evening everybody, Shakira Ali here and uh, today is day 23 I think in my come up series and I wanted to shoot this quick video before the night gets out. Um, uh, I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about today. Um, however, I went to the supermarket and I had a little experience that created a little thought ripple for me and I thought I'd share it, share it with you. Uh, and it, it's really all about taking responsibility. How we have to take responsibility in order to become really excellent, reliable um, leaders with uh, uh, flawless integrity. And um, the, the supermarket experience was this. I was standing in line and I forgot an item. And there were two women in front of me. One woman was uh, checking out, and one woman was standing in the line. But she really only she only had two items, so I figured uh, the the first woman had pretty uh, like a half a cartload. So I figured it would take me a, a, a couple of moments to just run and get the one item that I forgot. So I turned to the woman behind me, who had probably about the same number of items that I did, maybe about 35 items in her cart, and I knew I would just uh, be a couple minutes so I literally maybe about two minutes and so I asked her uh, if she wouldn't mind that I just run and get my item and if I if I did take longer and and um, the woman in front of me was about to finish up that she should feel free to go ahead and get in front of me well I ran and I got my item and ran back and um, when I got back, um, as I expected, the woman, the two women were still in front of me. The woman, one woman was about to put her two items on the conveyor belt, but the woman behind me had just very, you know, casually pushed my cart aside and started unloading her cart. She had about five or six items on the, on the conveyor belt by the time I got there. So I kind of looked at her and I said, well, I, you know, I. I asked if if I could just uh, run and get an item. She said, "Well, you didn't get back, and she was moving." I said, "Oh, well, I thought the agreement was that, that uh, if she got to the cashier, that you, you know, that I I would invite you to get in front of me, but she hasn't gotten to the cashier." So she says, "Well, I was going to take my things off the cart, but..." You're, you're yelling, so I'm not going to. And I thought, I didn't actually think it. I said out loud, I said, I didn't yell. <laughs> I just observed that the woman hadn't gotten to the conveyor belt. She says, well, you're yelling. So, so of course, I uh, did not uh, engage in any further altercation. I just simply moved my card and got in the next uh, checkout line and, in fact, I, I actually finished before she did. But what um, what struck me was how she was, you know, perfectly willing to blame me for her bad behavior. She was just, you know, just kind of blaming me for, you know, yelling and saying that that, that was the reason that she was going to continue to kind of break the agreement that she made that that uh, would allow me to go ahead and check out. And uh, of course that got me to thinking uh, about how often we will blame something else or somebody else for what we do or don't do. And how if you are in the business of building a team as a network marketer and, or an online marketer, how this is very inconsistent with good leadership. Um, if you are going to be a leader, then you need to take responsibility for uh, everything that occurs with you. Uh, and I and I'm, I say you, but I'm really talking uh, to myself as well because I know that I have in the past blamed circumstances for my failure to do something or to not do something. So, for instance, um, you know, I'll blame a busy schedule on not exercising. Well, it was my schedule that, ca that caused me not to exercise. Well, of course, I mean, my, you know, I, I have it fully in my control to...
take a few minutes out to do exercises. I have I I can't blame my my schedule. I create my schedule. So, um, you know, and, and those are the kinds of things that I'm talking about that we that we are so quick to relinquish our power by uh, suggesting that something else or someone else has gotten in the way of the thing that we said we were going to do. And, um, you know, I think it's probably human, uh, first of all, but if you are going to um, move into real success, this is not a behavior that you can afford. This is not a behavior that I can afford. And so I have um, uh, taken on the journey of, of, of uh, reclaiming all of my power by taking full responsibility for everything that occurs in my life. And um, uh, I, I think I mentioned this yesterday uh, very briefly, in or maybe the day before that I, I mentioned this, uh, the latest book that I'm reading, called "Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself." Um, uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about how uh, managing our mindset is so critical, uh, and how meditation can support us in in managing our mindset so that we uh, are are laser-like focused on the things that we say that we want to do and when once we uh, achieve that laser focus then it kind of crowds out everything else all the other things that we uh, can we, we tend to blame for not taking responsibility for the things that we say we're going to do uh, and I did mention, I think, that I'm, I'm going to do some hangouts of, uh, around this book, and I'll let that be known on my blog site. Uh, but uh, this evening I thought I would just uh, share that little experience because um, it was, uh, it was, it was, uh, it perked my, th my thinking, and, and I thought maybe I would share that with you. Uh, maybe maybe you too can benefit from rethinking how you um, may blame circumstances and, and, and individuals uh, in your life for for the way that things are going for you rather than taking full ownership of the power that you have and indeed you are a powerful soul um, I read somewhere that uh, if we if we could actually take the energy in the human body and put it and attach it to a generator, it would generate enough power to light up a small town. So you are powerful beyond measure, and uh, and so am I. And so uh, it, it'll be interesting to see how we together move move uh, forward in the world when when we take full responsibility for everything we do. So uh, that was a thought for the day, and um, I look forward to talking with you again tomorrow. Take care. Have a good evening.